What can you make with a 3D printer? Almost anything you want from vases to GoPro mounts to phone cases provided you don't mind that it's made out of plastic. Whether you're a tinkerer interested in prototyping or a tabletop gaming enthusiast seeking to expand your arsenal of miniatures, a 3D printer might be the manufacturing. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Creality Ender 3V2 Neo 3D Printer. The Ender 3V2 Neo is a welcome refresh of the popular Ender 3V2. With a few key upgrades, it addresses the most common issues that users had with its predecessor. While the machine comes with obvious limitations, it is a good 3D printer for beginners and hobbyists. With its Ender 3 Series 3D printers, Creality established itself as a 3D printer manufacturer for end users with an excellent price performance ratio. Technology has advanced in the last couple of years, and to make sure that the Ender 3 line stays ahead of the curve, the company has released the Creality Ender 3 V2 Neo. It's an improved and upgraded version of the Ender 3 V2 and it offers several new features specifically focused on improving user experience and print quality. In this Ender 3 V2 Neo review, we'll see what the machine offers and what sets it apart from its pre- Number 2. Original Prusa i3 MK3s Plus 3D Printer The original Prusa i3 MK3s Plus, an incremental upgrade to the Editor's Choice Award-winning original Prusa i3 MK3s, is little changed from its predecessor in appearance or performance, but a variety of under-the-hood changes make an already exceptional 3D printer more durable and reliable. Our testing confirmed that the new model consistently produced prints of the same high quality as the MK3s, and it presented no operational problems during our time with it. The MK3s Plus takes the baton as our latest editor's choice honoree among mid-price 3D printers for hobbyists and makers. He Orange and Black i3 MK3s Plus is Prusa Research's flagship 3D printer, directly descended from the Prusa i2, which the Czech company sold at its 2012 inception. The OpenFrame i3 MK3s Plus, a single extruder model, measures 15 by 19.7 by 22 inches, HWD, excluding the spool and spool holder, which sit atop the printer. The device comes with two spool holder rods, so you can feed filament to the extruder with one spool and have an auxiliary. Number 3. Anycubic Cobra Max 3D Printer. The Anycubic Cobra Max removes a lot of the frustration from 3D printing and reminds us why we love the hobby in the first place. It can be a mistake to think a 3D printer is great for beginners just because it doesn't cost a lot. Sure, it's possible to buy a 3D printer for as little as $180, and it will work after a fashion. Most likely, though, a beginner will buy it, spend too long trying to get one good print, then give up because they think it's too tough or not worth their effort. The lesson, even at those very low prices, if something is frustrating to use, it's not a good investment. Setting up the Cobra Max was difficult because of its sheer size. At 400 by 400 by 450 millimeters, it's one of the biggest printers I've ever used, and the construction was a little unwieldy, especially once you realize it's bigger than it looks. Because the bed moves backward and forward, there needs to be space behind the printer. It can't be flush against the wall. It wouldn't fit in my two foot deep shelves. So I had to build an extension that now sticks out. Not ideal. Number 4. Monoprice MP Cadet. A beginner's printer. If you aren't sure you want to commit to using a 3D printer regularly, or if you just want to spend a bit less, the Monoprice MP Cadet is a good budget option. In our testing, this $200 printer made prints that looked just as good as the results from printers. That cost several times more and its small size makes it especially desk-friendly. It's removable. Unheated bed is also more suitable for little fingers, and releases finished prints with ease, though it puts your prints at risk of warping. However, this machine lacks the relatively advanced features you get from more expensive printers, such as the Prusa Mini Plus and i3 MK3s Plus. Among the eight test prints we attempted, the MP Cadet produced four great-looking prints, 
one mediocre print, and three failures. The MP Cadet can print layers as thin as 0.4 mm, they're eight times thicker than the MK3's plus S0.05 mm layers, but still thin enough that prints look tidy, even if you can see each individual layer. This machine did a mediocre job of printing the skull lamp file, which has lots of small details and overhangs. That Number 5. Artillery Sidewinder X2. For larger 3D prints, if you're trying to print a sci-fi helmet or custom shelving brackets, a larger printer allows you to make the entire part in one shot rather than splitting it into smaller components and gluing them together. The print bed of the Artillery Sidewinder X2, an 11.8-inch square with a height of 15.7 inches, gives you a lot more room for bigger jobs. This model also offers easy setup and an intuitive